All right, everyone, remember earlier this year when Bill Maher was like saying, oh, I'm hoping that there's a recession because that's the only thing that'll stop Trump and, you know, it's probably not wrong because running on the economy traditionally has been a good thing for an incumbent to do. If the economy is going well, you run on the economy. If it's not going well, you hope that there's a war going on and that the other person's a chucklehead, basically. It makes people nervous with their leadership inabilities. Politico is now praying for a recession, too. They're saying, oh, there's a chance that we'll enter a recession before 2020. And they're talking about it like with palpable glee, like they're saying, oh, yeah, it'd be so great. You know, like Trump will lose. Ha ha. It's very, very funny to see all of these coastal elites, as we'll just put them, uh, literally praying that their fellow man suffers because orange man bad. They are so far out there and so extreme and fanatic at this point that they're literally hoping that other people like lose their jobs, get their hours cut and their wages cut and that their kid, they uh, get screwed up financially. They're hoping millions of people suffer so that they won't reelect evil orange man. But the thing is, if evil orange man is at least good for the economy, wouldn't you think that's a good thing for the United States? Like if the economy is going well, that seems better than if it's like flatlining, right? Well, if the Democrats get elected, yeah, I happen to agree with Trump when he says, and I think it's pretty sensible about why. If the Democrats win in the next election, you can look forward to a recession. So I'm hoping that, it does, that there is no recession before 2020. Eventually, we will enter correction territory. It's just a matter of when. And it's very, very funny because when things are going good, they predict a recession. When things are going bad, you're in a recession. So ec economists are always pessimists anyway. They're like, oh my God, it's, we're only moments away from Armageddon. Uh, buy gold, people. And, and stuff like that. It's funny because even the Ron Paulites are continuously talking about it, but they've been doing that for a number of years now and it hasn't happened. The economy still has a lot of growing to do to get back to where it should be anyway. That's my personal opinion. I don't particularly think there'll be problems. They were talking like a year ago when you had a couple days there where the stock market slid and, and things kind of wavered. They're like, oh, this is the foreshock any time now. And then, you know, a year, a year and a half later, things are perfectly fine. And every single time there's a day when the stock market happens to fall a little bit, it's front page news, it's definitely the Trump economy finally kicking in. And then you don't hear about anything about it uh, the next day when it corrects itself back upwards to where it should be. Yeah, the stock market is overpriced, but I mean, it typically is for the most part. It crashes down and very quickly goes ahead of where it should be anyway. So who fucking cares? And that's Wall Street, not Main Street. That's not exactly my problem. My big problem is if Amazon goes under or something like that. Yeah, that would probably suck. You know, finding another self-publishing service that doesn't require you to invest in buying the copies and mailing them out yourself is difficult. As far as I know, there's no other. There is nothing that directly competes with Amazon's KDP program. But has anyone else, like, in one of these tech firms thought about forming something like that? Like, has Google thought about it, potentially? making a publishing on-demand style service where you can grab a template and get things printed and shipped directly by the tech firm. I guess they don't have the infrastructure Amazon has mail-wise or something like that. They've got, you know, Prime. They've got their, their, their own army of, of mail trucks, practically. They're doing it by drone in some areas now. Did you see that Amazon blimp that they rolled out and it had all the drones attached? And they were flying in formation and people were putting on like these really, really dystopian musical themes and stuff. And it looked like an alien invasion. And it really does look like alien technology sometimes. Bezos needs to fucking calm down or something. Maybe, maybe he'll slow himself down now that he had to give half of his money to his ex-wife, I guess, or something. Apparently she has dick pics of uh, the richest man in the world or one of them. That'd be funny. It'd be funny if it were like club shaped. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hilarious. It's a micro penis. No, I, I think it's probably normal. Uh, enough about Jeff Bezos' penis there, though. We could talking about Politico. Well, you know, there's some overlap because Politico is a cock. Uh, Politico is hoping for a recession, like open, openly praying for it. Why does this always seem to come from all these groups on the left? Like they say, well, Trump is bad. He like he like hates poor people. He hates black people. He hates gays. Okay, those people suffer too in a recession, you know. The recession is disproportionately going to affect the lower echelons of society anyway. Someone who has millions of dollars in investments, they probably survive. Maybe instead of having two sports cars, they only get to have one right now. How very sad. What about people who are poor? What about people who are working class or people in the middle class? I guess like a, sort of a happening job. They've been at the factory 20 years. They're in management. They get cut. Their hours get cut. Their wages get cut in half. They get fired. They get you know, temporarily laid off or something. 
The liberals don't seem to care about the everyday existence of the average American. It's rather sad considering that they're trying to cast themselves as the, where we care about the poor, we care about the inner cities. No, you don't. If you cared about the inner cities, if something would have been done by now, you've been running them for half a century. I don't see any improvement. I think that they still have some deep, deep problems. So Politico is, is uh, mind numbed. It's one of these tabloid rags, fairly straightforward about why they would say such weird shit. That's about all. Peace out.